Hey, Boa Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, let's talk about Mercari. Um, these are items that I sold on Mercari. I've got 19 of them coming your way. Items that I bought low and sold for decent profits. Um, probably gonna range from bread and butter to big money. I can't remember which tabs I have pulled up here, but we are gonna go through all of them. Um, I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, I have been selling on eBay since 2005. Um, I'm a full-time reseller. I branched out to Mercari and Poshmark, I want to say three to four years ago. Um, I currently use List Perfectly to cross post my items. What I do is I start on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. Now, before List Perfectly came along, I did everything manually. And let me tell you, it is awful doing it manually. So definitely think about trying a cross posting service. Um, this is an extension and I can bulk, cro bulk cross post my items fast. I do have a link down in the description that show you, shows you guys how I use List Perfectly. There's a demo video. So check it out. If you like what you see, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. I highly recommend that you check it out because different platforms equals different eyes on your items. All right, you guys, let's get started here with some BOLO items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. So the first item I sold is a major, major, major bread and butter item. Uh, this is a little plush. I picked this up probably at a garage sale for probably not much, and it's an angry bird. And I sold this guy for $10 free shipping. So I'm guessing I probably had a quarter, maybe 50 cents in this. So by the time Posh, or I'm sorry, Poshmark, by the time Mercari took their fees and I paid the shipping, I probably only made between, I don't know, three and four dollars, maybe five dollars on this, which is still great for just an easy item to list really quick, but definitely a bread and butter. But you guys, all that bread and butter adds up. The next item is another bread and butter. I sold this um, Tito's Taster Patch. I have no idea what this is. I think I only put this on Mercari. Um, I sold this for $7 free shipping. Again, just an easy item. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, easy to ship. I don't know. I don't typically list things like this. I wanted to see if I could sell it. It was a, um, I had two of them. On Mercari, you can't do multi-quantity, unfortunately. So when this one sold, I just created a new listing to sell the other one. The next item are these Lego lot minifigure replacement pizzas. Now I sold these for $55 free shipping. This is just a hodgepodge of pieces. As you can see, you know, they're missing parts. Uh, maybe the parts are there. I don't know. I wasn't going to take the time to go through and try to put, match these up and figure it out. But it looks like there's like a little dog there. There's some weapons. So it's a nice lot for somebody who has a lot of Legos that's maybe looking for replacement pieces or people sometimes sell Legos and what they do is they part them out. So maybe they're going to part out and sell this little piece right here. I don't know if that's like a surfboard or what that is, but you can sell these items individually. Are they bread and butter? Yes. But a lot of times on eBay, somebody will take one Lego part and every time they find it, they will just add to the quantity and they're t selling like, let's say this wing right here. The, here's a wing and here's a wing and here's a wing. So there's three, maybe four of them here. So they could have quantity four on eBay, sell them for two or three bucks a piece. And then it's easy when they find more, they just add to the quantity. You know what I'm saying? Is that for me? No, that's not something I want to spend my time doing. But people have business models that follow that exact thing. They also do it with game pieces. So something to think about if you like um, like sorting and, you know, smalls like that. The next item are these Mardi Gras beads. I got these at a thrift store and I sold these for $27 free shipping. No, wait, I'm sorry. This set I got at a garage sale, if I remember correctly. I have some other ones that I recently got from a thrift store that are listed also. The next item is this vintage 1997 Ghostbusters figure. Um, I believe I used Google Lens to figure out who he was because I did not know. But he is vintage and he sold for $16 free shipping. I love, love, love selling toys. 
This little vintage plush came from a garage sale. I believe I paid 50 cents for it and it sold for $15 free shipping. So really I like to sell my items for at least $15, but again, like the first one was 10 and the second one was seven. So sometimes I make some exceptions. If I've already looked the item up, I might as well list it, right? The next item are these vintage mini plush beans. They're mini beans and they're Sesame Street. They're super, super cute. Um, I cannot recall where I got these, but um, I think it was a garage sale. But don't quote me on that. But you guys, stuff like this, I usually pay not much for. So I probably had a buck, maybe $2 in this. And I sold it for $19 with free shipping. Here's another Lego. This is a keychain. Again, this came in a big lot of miscellaneous toys. And I was like, I'm going to look that up. And I sold this for $10 free shipping. It's um, a butterfly, a Lego butterfly. And it does not come apart. It's just um, all stuck together. So it's not like an actual Lego. The next item is this Loving Family Dollhouse food trays. And again, you guys, these items were on eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. And they sold faster on Mercari. I sold these for $23 free shipping. The next item is this Hot Wheels uh, Shark Bite. And this one I only put on Mercari. And I know that because whenever I put the inventory in the description, I know that I only listed it there. And the reason I did that is because on eBay, this item, there was a whole bunch of them. It was kind of saturated. And I just thought this item would do well on Mercari. So it was a long tail item. It did take a while to sell. I'm not very good on Mercari about uh, sending offers and um, price drops. So I believe that I would sell more if I was more active on the account doing those things, but I usually just list it and let it sit. If somebody likes my item, I will send an offer. I try to do that daily, but a lot of times I feel like I don't get notifications when that happens. They don't always show up in that feed. So I'm, I think I'm missing a lot of them, but let me know what you guys think in the comments about that. The next item I sold is not showing up. Let's refresh it and see if we can get this to pull up here. Here it is. It is Red Pearl's um, perfume. And I don't know if it was actually just evaporated some because it was almost full to the top. Um, I put used because I didn't have the original packaging, but it may have never been used. I'm not 100% sure. Um, sometimes they evaporate just with time and they are vintage. This sold for $26 with free shipping. You guys, you do have to ship perfume ground. The next item I sold is this vintage 1998 Harmony Kingdom Christmas ornaments. And these are super, super cute. I picked these up at a garage sale. I want to say I paid $5 for the set and I sold this for $61 with free shipping. Now these actually open up and have like these hidden compartments. They're really, really cute. Never seen anything like it. I bought um, multiple um, items from this store that store from this garage sale that were Harmony Kingdom and I've done pretty well with it. So definitely look it up if you find it. Here's another one, this Agent Provocator. I don't know. It's a parfum, parfum. And I sold this for $39 free shipping. And that's what the bottom says. And a lot of times people will collect the bottles. They really don't even want the perfume. They just collect the bottles. The next item is this Wonder Pets Schoolhouse. I sold this for $200 with free shipping. Um, Wonder Pets is collectible. It is harder to find. It was not mass produced. Um, so if you see these little Wonder Pet figures, even if it, you don't have the play set, definitely pick them up. They are a bolo. And again, 200 with free shipping on that. The next item is this My Little Pony Pinkie Pie. I picked this up at a um, at the dollar store. I paid $1 for it and this sold for $9. And I did charge um, a delivery fee through Mercari for this item. So the buyer paid the $4.25. Um, this is a very, very old listing. It's been listed since 1231 of 21. And again, list it and forget it. And then it just sells all of a sudden just sells. Um, sourcing at the dollar store. I do have a video on it. 
I'm not very good at it. Some people like are really, really good. Like I know they buy some of the health and beauty stuff and different things, but those people, they research it and they know what to look for. I was just going in and trying to find something that I could see if I could flip. And I bought like, I don't know, six, five or six of these. And I think I'm either sold out or I have one left. They had pink and purple. So do I recommend it? I don't know. I mean, it's retail arbitrage. I didn't make a ton of money, but it was a fun little thing to try and do. And I did it and I'm proud of myself for doing it. Let me know if you source at the dollar store. And I don't, I'm not asking you to give your secrets because I know retail arbitrage is very, very different from um, just going out and trying to find items that are thrifted. Um, but anyway, yeah, my little pony. Fun, right? I sold this Build-A-Bear Turtle. This one was really, um, oh, nope, I'm sorry. This one I had listed on eBay forever, forever, you guys. And it took, it wouldn't sell. I mean, it was just saturated maybe over there. And this is what I talk about when I say cross-posting is important. This sat on eBay probably for two, maybe three years. I cross-posted it on one, three of 22. And... I think it sold in less than two months and I sold it for $15 and the buyer paid um, the delivery fee on that one. So very, very cool. The next item is this Disney store, Anna princess plush. And I sold her for $16 free shipping. I got her at a garage sale. I did pay up a little for her. I paid $4 for her. The next item are these a lot of 29 Dunn Russ baseball cards. You guys, I have had these listed um, for so long um, and I forgot which tote they were in. And I was like, did I already sell them? Did I mess up? And I didn't. And I actually remembered, I was like, okay, it's gotta be in one of my really, really early totes. And I found it, you guys. And I sold this for $18 free shipping. The last item, again, is a really, really just, I wanted to see if I could sell it. Shopkins plush. I think it was like 50 cents or a quarter at a garage sale. I sold it for $7 free shipping. These are very lightweight. You can ship them for $3 approximately, maybe $3.50, depending on where it's going. Um, but yeah, so $7 free shipping. I only made, what, three, four bucks on it, but that's okay. It all adds up. So let me know in the comments if you are selling on Mercari and if you like it. Um, I do have a video, a step-by-step -step of how to sell on Mercari. If you're like an eBay reseller or Poshmark and you want to try Mercari, it is on this channel. And I do have a link down in the description. If you use that link to sign up for Mercari, you will get a coupon when you sign up. And then you'll get another coupon to spend on Mercari when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And then Mercari also gives me a coupon. So I would appreciate greatly if you use my code, if you decide to sign up, that would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. There's a whole bunch of links down below, like my Facebook group, Twitter, Instagram, all of that stuff. Um, Worth Point recently, well, it's not, I probably had it for about six months now. Uh, joined Worth Point, really glad I did. Um, I have a video that I just released telling you guys how I use Worth Point to make more money. And I give you guys examples. It is awesome. So check that out. That's linked down below. Um, yeah. And then I mentioned List Perfectly. That's linked down below if you want to check out that video. So let me know if you have any com any comments, any questions. And if you made it this far, leave me a hat emoji in the comments. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And I've got Poshmark Bolo videos and eBay Bolo videos if you want to check those out. All right, you guys, have a great night or a great day. I don't know when I'm releasing this. It's night right now. All right, you guys.